Okay, friends. Uh, now we are going to discuss electronic configuration of atoms. Before going to electronic distribution in different shells, you should know there are four subshells: S, P, D, and F. In S subshell, maximum two electron electrons can be accommodated. In P subshell, six electrons can be accommodated. And D subshell contains 10 electrons and F sub subshell maximum 14 electrons can be accommodated. Now S subshell has one orbital that is S and P subshell has three orbitals Px, Py and Pz and D subshell has five orbitals dxy, dyz and dxz dx square minus y square and dz square and in each orbital maximum two electrons can be accommodated and f subshell has seven orbitals just friends what is electronic configuration basically electronic configuration is the distribution of electrons in different atomic orbitals in an atom okay in our previous slides, we have discussed about quantum numbers, principal quantum number, angular momentum quantum number, magnetic quantum number, and spin quantum number. And here we represent electrons in different orbitals with these quantum numbers. So, first number is principal quantum number. It tells us about shell energy level. And the second letter that is from azimuthal quantum number or angular momentum quantum number L. it tells us about orbital and this number is number of electrons how many electrons can be in this orbital okay so we can also write orbital diagram we shall discuss this orbital diagram in our next slide okay friends so for the distribution of electrons in different orbitals we use a simple energy level diagram here we have one triangle and left side of this triangle all s orbitals it's very simple to draw and right side all p orbitals and after 4s there is d orbital then 4d 5d 6d and before 5d there is 4f and then 5f this is a, your simple energy level diagram for electronic configuration okay how to distribute electrons electrons will be distributed from low to higher orbitals those orbitals which are present down those have lower energy and the orbitals which are present up they have higher energy okay when we write this energy level diagram so how electrons will be distributed okay so let's have one example calcium how to write electronic configuration for calcium atom just draw energy level diagram very simple and easy okay now what is atomic number of calcium it is 20 so start from the down 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 and 4s2 now we have distributed our 20 electrons so what is the electronic con configuration of calcium 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 4s2 okay another example okay friends so let's have another example of iron atomic number of iron is 26 so let's draw energy level diagram okay. 
now complete 26 electrons in orbitals from low to higher energy 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d6 okay this is electronic configuration for iron okay students so there are other examples you can write it by yourself okay you can write electronic configuration for any atom okay students we have another method to write electronic configuration by using periodic table it is very simple and easy method we have discussed in chapter number two about blocks there are four blocks in product table s block first two groups p block last six groups d block 10 groups in the center in the middle and f block elements okay now what are these and how we use this method this product table to write electronic configuration okay suppose here i have oxygen let's write for oxygen okay how will you write first period is s block so how many electrons will be one s orbital will be completed and second period these two elements from s block so it will be 2s so 1s2 2s2 and this is p block so in second period p1 p2 p3 and p4 so oxygen is 2p4 so 1s2 2s2 2p4 is the electronic configuration for oxygen atom okay suppose we are going to discuss nickel here it is okay how can we write electronic configuration for nickel first it is 1s orbital it is complete these two from 2s these from 2p so it is also complete 3s orbital will be completed and 3p orbital will be completed now 4s is also complete and 3d this row is for 3d so it is at 8th position 1 2 3d 1 3d 2 3d 3 3d 4 3d 5 3d 6 3d 7 3d 8 so what is the electronic configuration for this one so how can we write electronic configuration for nickel so first orbital 1s will be completed 2s will be completed okay students so how to write electronic configuration for nickel okay here in nickel first orbital is complete second orbital 2s is complete 2p is complete 3s is complete 3p is complete 4s is also complete now nickel is in 3d orbital so 3d1 3d2 3d3 3d4 3d5 3d6 3d7 3d8 okay so how will you write 1s2 first orbital then second 2s2 then 2p6 after that 3s2 then 3p6 after that 4s2 and then 
three D eight. So this is electronic configuration of nickel. Okay, students. Let's have another example for chlorine. So where is chlorine? It is fluorine. Chlorine. Chlorine present here. So how to write its electronic configuration? First row, it is one s two. Then two s two. Two p six. Three s two. Now chlorine present in three p. So three p one, three p two, three p three, three p four, three p five. Okay, students. So this is the method how to use this periodic table for writing electronic configuration. We can write also condensed form by using noble gases. How? For nickel, nickel is present here. So what is the noble gas before nickel? Here that will be. Here it is helium gas, neon, argon. Krypton, xenon, radon, and organism. Here. Now, argon is present before nickel, so you will write argon. In brackets, after argon, it is 4s2. So 4s2 and 3d8. This is your condensed electronic configuration. Okay. Similarly, for chlorine, how can you write? Before chlorine, there is a neon gas. So just write neon, Ne. After neon, 3s. It is complete. 3s2 and 3p5. Okay, students. So this is the method how to use product table to write electronic configuration for different elements. Now move to next. I have already told you about these slides. Here everything is written. So electronic configuration for silicon that is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p2. but when you see here it is for a neon gas so just write ne and then 3s2 3p2 because there are 14 electrons in silicon okay students so there is another example about manganese so how to write electronic configuration for manganese very simple and easy just find what is the noble gas before manganese there is argon so write argon in a bracket after that fourth period is present so 4s2 and 3d5 This is electronic configuration for manganese. You can use your periodic table. Okay, students, so there are other examples sulfur and palladium. Okay, 
answers of these are written here just go through these examples and if you will find any difficulty let me know or you can write in comments below okay friends next is paramagnetic and diamagnetic what is paramagnetic if unpaired electrons are present in any atom then it is paramagnetic and if all electrons are paired in any atom it is diamagnetic paramagnetic means that atom which has unpaired electrons will be attracted towards magnet magnet can attract that electron uh, that atom which has unpaired electrons okay and diamagnetic that is not attracted by magnet so if any atom that has paired electrons all electrons are paired then that atom will be diamagnetic so there is no effect and there is no force of attraction by magnet on that atom okay 